How's it going, everybody? My name is Adam. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get this uh, name label in your videos using Cisco WebEx registered endpoints. I'm going to show you how to enable this both from an administrative perspective as well as an end user perspective. It does take both uh, because it does require a picture of the individual user to then go ahead and actually uh, do the facial recognition. So uh, there's a couple steps to it. Stick with me, check it out, and um, yeah, let's dive into it. Here we go. To get started, log into the WebEx Control Hub for your organization. Navigate to the Settings tab. On the Settings page, you can scroll down about halfway down or a third of the way down and look for the Face Recognition and Name Labels setting. Here you kind of see the statistics for organization. Currently it is off. I can toggle it on. When you toggle it on, a window will pop up that gives you the option to send out an email to your user community so that they know they can go and enroll into the name, label, and uh, facial recognition feature. It does require that an individual has to enroll to participate in this feature, uh, again, for privacy reasons and because the system needs a picture of that individual to actually do the facial recognition. So here's the body of the email. What we'll do is we'll copy this link and we will go ahead and launch as a user to check it out. With name labels toggled on, users can now go to settings.webex.com, which was the link in that email that was generated. They can log in and then they can configure this setting. When the user logs in, they'll be greeted with a message something like this. It prompts them to actually enable this feature. If they choose to do so, they can hit get started. A window will pop up prompting the user to enable the browser to access their camera. This is needed for the picture, right? Obviously we're taking a picture that we want to have on file for facial recognition. Let's go ahead and allow that. Here you can see me. Uh, I am going to take a picture. Let's see how this looks. Make eye contact with the camera and click take picture. The photo will be verified. You can see my name appears there. Click done when ready. You'll be redirected to the My Profile page inside of the user settings. You can see now that facial recognition name label is on. If you want to make any changes, you can simply click the on button to uh, make those changes. The toggle, take a new photo, and ultimately delete your data are the options to manage your personal end user uh, name label settings. Jumping back to the administrative panel, you can see here now facial recognition is status on, and we can see that one out of two users have enrolled. If we view actual user settings, you can see my user here. If I scroll down, I can notice that under user details, name labels is configured as enrolled, and I see a couple details here about that. With facial recognition enabled, your endpoints should have it turned on by default, but if you want to verify this setting, you can simply go to the Touch 10 panel of your device, go to the upper left-hand corner, select the, uh, the name of the device there at the drop-down, choose Settings, look at about the middle of the page for the Facial Recognition and Name Labels button, choose that. And last but not least, look for the really the only option here, and that is the toggle for face recognition name labels. Ensure that it is toggled on so that the uh, the blue is showing on the toggle, and you should be good to go. So there you have it. You can see the name labels are working. You see my name at the bottom of the screen. The cool thing is, is that there are multiple people here. There aren't, but if there were, uh, there'd be multiple labels, and they would follow the person. You can see as I move, it uh, it follows me, so that you know who I am, um, that's it, right? That's the facial recognition feature. If for some reason you're having trouble with this on your endpoint, uh, there is actually a debug function as well. So if you go to the touch 10 and hit settings, hit issues and diagnostics, and hit the speaker track diagnostics, turn that on, and uh, boom, there you go. You see that it is matching my face with the green box and my name. Uh, as I move around, it moves around. The 
other box here is the uh, speaker track. That's what would be cropped uh, or the best overview, depending on the endpoint. That's going to crop the image to what's inside that box. You see in the uh, upper corner, the um, uh, people count is up there as well. So that gives you an idea how many faces total are recognized. And then again, the facial recognition identifies me personally. So anyway, that's it. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, leave them in the video description below. Hit that subscribe button as well if you're new here. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again sometime soon.